themselves. Go Bears! Makes a nice move, going right to the net, and he scores! You're watching Cutstown Hockey, only on Nick's Hockey Broadcast. The finals have just been set for Kutztown in the 2024 Intramural Intramural Floor Hockey Championship game. It shall be between the defending champion Kutztown Critters against the Men with Wood as the warm-ups are getting underway right now. Both teams are coming onto the ice. I know it's not ice, but we're going to call it that. And even though they are not playing with a puck today, it's an orange hockey ball. You'll hear me calling it a puck. And I want to mention something briefly. Um, I apologize if the camera is going to be shaking at all today because I do not have my tripod with me, nor do I have my headset because I had um, in advance sent some of my stuff home for college for the summer and I sent my broadcast back home thinking I wasn't going to have to do any other games this year, but here we are. So hopefully the audio and video come out pretty well. It should, as this game will get underway shortly. There's Paracon taking some shots. So for those of you guys who don't know, I'll go over some of the basic rules here for intramural floor hockey here at Kutztown. Just to mention a few things off the bat. As you can see, there are no goaltenders in the net. The nets are putting are, are being put face down. Uh, a defender is not allowed to stand in the blue paint. You can kind of play as a goaltender if you want to, but not exactly in the paint. You can see Bailey Swalinski there on the red shirt. He often plays a goalie defense hybrid here for the men in for the um, men with wood. Also, to mention another thing, you cannot score a goal past the or behind the center ice line. No slap shots are allowed as well. Usually in these floor hockey games, there is no overtime or shootouts, but because we're in the championship game, it will be necessary if it is tied after three periods. So the rules for that is that it will be a five minute sudden death OT. We haven't had any overtime games thus far. So there'll be three 10 minute periods here at the rec center here at Kutztown. I actually had a team that played in this exact same intramural league this year called Team Free Agent. And unfortunately, we have the worst record in the league. And actually, during each game, I will wear the jersey of my good friend from Southern Lehigh, now a Delaware, Anthony Greco. The siren has sounded as the game is about to get underway. Lorch and Repsig will handshake at center ice. It'll be four on four. And it's Antonio Nellis going to head off. Josh Bauer, the only player out for today's game for the men with wood. And here we go. Puck is dropped and we're underway. It's the Critters and the men with wood. Liam O'Neill, Swatwinski. Down towards Rosen, his shot's blocked, and it's, yes, that is Colby Rosen, who usually plays goaltender, but he's playing forward here for the men with wood. If you notice closely, he got a new haircut. He's, he's got the new Yabber Yager mullet haircut, and he looks really good in it, to be quite honest. Meanwhile, this is DeRosa. Paragon, that shot, good save by Swatwinski, as he's playing like Martin Brodor. This is Revson, right in front. Swatwinski makes another save, that time on DeRosa. He's going to turn back on the corner. DeRosa flinging it in front. Now there's Bates. Hit the post with the shot there was Bates as he got the left corner there. Bates gets it back on the high point. He's going to fire again. Swatlinski, another stop. Lord's trying to twist around the former Parkland Trojan. He's wearing the 11 straight championship shirt for Parkland. Speaking of the Trojans in the LVSHL, they nearly made the playoffs this year, just shy by a game. As now Repsic takes it here for the Critters. Kutztown Critters were undefeated this year, 7-0, and they were also undefeated last year, 8-0. They are 15-0 in their last 15 games, and they are the defending champions as they're trying to get their second straight title. This is Bates now moving down towards the right side. DeRosa on the left point, fires his pass towards Repsic. As they'll control it here on the corner. Repsic's going to still hold on, waiting for some options. He's got Porek on the side of the net, gets it to him on the right corner. Pork says they call him, gives it. Repsic, that shot fired wide. He had a lot of power to it, just not enough accuracy. 
Bates will go right behind the net as it's blocked by the stick there of Swatwinski. O'Neal manages to clear, and there's no icing here in these four hockey games. DeRosa over the line. There's no offsides on these games either, and that puck goes off the off the railing as they're going to keep play going on. It comes in front of the net as Lorch clears it down and wide of the net. Rosen trying to chase for it. Reps it got to it first as he accidentally shoots it into the soccer net, the wrong net. Pareko is going to take his time. Clears it towards the wing. DeRosa controlling back towards the red line. As he's going to fire, and that shot goes off the soccer net behind the actual hockey net they're trying to get the puck into. Rebsik it again, leaving it there for Pareka. Pareka, that shot fired wide. Pareka had two goals in the game he played earlier tonight when the Critters defeated the Giant Dad Sticks, a final score of 13 to five. That try there by O'Neal went wide. And the men with Wood defeated the Kutztown tennis team in a game final score of six to five. It was a very close game. The tennis team played quite well. It just wasn't enough. Repsic will now cleanly bring it into the zone for the Critters. Drops it up for Graney. Back to Repsic. Graney has it again. His shot's blocked down as it goes behind the goal. Less than seven minutes to go in the first period. Still no score. Can't give you a shot on net since that is not labeled on the scoreboard here at the rec center. As Winsky makes a soccer-like play as he kicks the puck up into the air. Gravity brings it down. He'll backhand one right behind himself there for Lorch. Cleared it off the boards to get it back towards the left corner for Pareka. Repsik now behind the net as he's going to see what he could do here. Repsik has plenty of options here. He's going to take all the time he needs. Escaping the stick there of Rosen. Repsik maneuvering around like Gretzky, holding on, passing it towards the right side. Repsik actually had a hat trick in there in the Critters' semifinal win tonight. The Rose are trying to flip this puck in front. It's sweeped away there nicely by Swanwinski, kept in there by Repsik. Graney controls, holds, fires, and that's blocked off the shin there of Rose. And good two way play as he's used to blocking pucks as a goaltender. Repsik fires. That shot's also blocked by Rosen again. Rosen falls down on the red wide. Looks like he's going to be okay as he gets back up on his two feet. D Rose clearing it back towards the left wing for Graney. Holding. Backhand pass. Shot on the side of the KC made there by Lorch as he was behind Swabwinski. And now it's Onella. Waits. Fires. That shot goes off the wall. Tony Onella had one goal. And that goes off the post, I believe. Puck is still loose in front of the blue paint as the critters get it away. Paragon towards Bates. As they'll go right nearly behind the net. Seven one different for Repsik. He scores! Finally, the first goal of the game belongs to the Critters. It's Repsik. It's 1-0 Kutztown Critters. So Repsik, as I was just saying, had a hat trick. An earlier game tonight for the Critters in their semifinal game against the Giant Dad Sticks. As now this puck is going to go back towards the corner for O'Neal. Graney's down for it too. It's stuck behind the soccer net as Graney's gonna kick it free there for Paul Paracone. Paracone trying to burst with some semblance of speed here as he has it on the left wing. Outlay the head there for Pareka. Porks is gonna take a shot from the angle, that goes wide. Paracone back towards Graney as he, reaches, he reaches for the puck all the way back. Fan on the clearing attempt. And now gets it to Paraco on the right side. Paraco trying to set one in front. It's blocked there by the leg there of freshman Liam O'Neill. As now Pareko will bring it in himself. Took a shot, was blocked by a stick on its way. Loose in the crease as Swablinski made a save. He lost track of it for a moment as Rosen couldn't get it out. Bates whacked off the stick of O'Neill. Got another try off the wall. Stephen Graney. Set one in front, and that shot there by Paracon at center goes wide. Didn't have enough traction on it. Graney is still behind the net. As he's going to try to get around the stick there, Swatwinski goes into the soccer net. Comes back towards the point. Here's Paracon. That shot deflected off the wall, and we're going to get a whistle here with three and a half to go in the first. One nothing critters. The goal from Luke Repsic. Swatwinski is going to try to get around the stick there. Repsic passes it in front there towards Lorch. As Pareka gets it ahead there for DeRosa. On the corner he goes. 
DeRosa's gonna swerve it back towards the point. Pereka slaps it, and that goes off the stick there of Antonio O'Neill. Sotlinski in the crease as that puck goes wide of the goal. DeRosa trying to get around, and now as well as Repsic. Repsic takes it here as he brings it back into his own zone. Porks will now take it back on the wing. Repsic leaves it to retrieve it. Repsic back at best. Pereka, that shot goes wide. As Repsic is going to take this puck back towards the corner. Bates behind the net. D-Rose in front. That's blocked off the leg there of Swatwinski. DeRosa back to Repsic. Pereka waiting out in front of the red line, coming in front of the goal. Guy Toomey scores! Pereka! And it's 2 0 Critters. Oink, oink for Owen Pereka as Porks makes it 2 0. Critters with less than two minutes to go in the first period. Warch will get a shot right off this face off here. This comes back towards the right circle there as it's been all critters so far. The critters were in the first semifinal game and the men with wood played right after. So they're a bit more tired. The critters had a lot more time to at least re-energize. So far, but it might be a part of it. Here's Pereka. That shot was saved there by Swanwinski. DeRosa lost it there for Lorch. Here comes the men with wood as Lorch's shot was fanned there. It comes in front of the blue paint. Last minute to play in the first period. Antonio Nello, that shot goes wide and it's stuck in the back part mesh of the net. Play continues on. Swanwinski coming out of his crease. O'Neill takes it on the right side. DeRosa took it away from him. 45 seconds left in the period. DeRosa, Repsic holding on again. Back towards Paracone off the stick of O'Neill as the Critters will retrieve it back on the corner. DeRosa escaping the stick of Lorch. Paracone on the corner. Paracone waits. Old has 30 seconds to work with here. Off the boards there towards Bates. And now O'Neill escaped, but he couldn't. Colton Bates has it here. Bates holds, maneuvers, backhand shot off the stick there of Swatwinski. 15 seconds left in the period. Here's Perica with a shot, side of the net there was DeRosa as the puck went way past him, 10 seconds to go. DeRosa, that goes off the stick of O'Neill and it goes back off the stick of Swatwinski, back towards the corner and it is 2-0, Kutztown Critters. After one, the goal is coming from Luke, uh, Luke Repsic and Owen Perica. we will be back for the second period. Second period's about to get underway here. It's 2 nothing Kutztown Critters in the 2024 Kutztown Intramural Floor Hockey Championship game. The Critters trying to defend their title from 2023, winning back-to-back -back years. They have not lost the game since their establishment last season. Just want to mention some stats from the semifinal games for where both of these teams played in. Paraka had two goals. Bates had a goal. DeRosa had two. Graney had a goal. Repsic with a hat trick. Paracone with two goals. Rosen with two, Antonio O'Neill with one, Andrew Orts with one, Swabwinski with two. Also want to mention for the men with Wood, their record is 6-1-0 as the Critters are 7-0 this season. While I'm at, I actually want to mention the Kutztown Hockey Seniors. None of them are playing tonight's game if you include Jackson Novak, F Phil Melito, Dalton Bull, as well as Liam Rode. And for those of you wondering, yes, I will be back next year to commentate more games for Kutztown Hockey. So stay tuned for that in the fall. Second period's underway as it's still 2-0 Critters in the championship game. Graney on the corner. Swapwinski ran to the body there of Repsic. Puck comes back towards the corner as it's stepped there by Graney and Swapwinski. Swatwinski doing a stance there, trying to kick this puck free. It's still stuck there, trying to swerve his way by, and now goes to Graney. Pareka! Oh, it's blocked there by Rosen. The actual goaltender, one of the two goaltenders for D2, coming up with the save there. With the Yager mullet. It looks really good on him there. Paul Paracone trying to whack this puck down. Lorch took it away from him briefly. He's off his body, as now Antonio Onella. Is going to try to swerve this back as the men with Woods are at least trying to get on the board here. O'Neal, beg my pardon, that's Pereka, he scores! He's got another one, oink, oink, Pereka, and it's 3 nothing Critters. With exactly nine minutes and counting left in the second, Pereka, his second of the night. 
Again, hopefully the audio coming back through the stream is coming up pretty good without the without my headset. And actually, my first three ever games that I did back in 2022 were, were without a headset. So hopefully the audio is coming out pretty good. Meanwhile, Rebsick trying to swerve on by pass to Winsky. It went off the stick blade. It comes right behind the goal. As Rebsick's going to backhand this pass there for Paracone. Pareka, that shot goes off of Swatwinski and out of play. So they'll do the face-off on either the left or right circle, and the Critters will get some reinforcements onto the ice. DeRosa and Bates will come in to substitute for Pareka and Rebsik. This is finals week at Kutztown University, so pretty much everyone will be going home throughout the week into the summer break. One last hockey event before we head off into the hot summer of 2024. Bates gives it to the corner. DeRosa in front towards Graney. Almost got control, but back in Sunday scores! Graney gets the goal for the Critters. He was the last one to touch it. Hall Grains makes it 4 0. Steven Graney off the boards towards Liam O'Neill. Wax it down towards the ice. Graney. O'Neill scores! Good play by the freshman as Graney tried to clear this puck out of the, the zone there for the Critters. As now it is four to one in favor of the Critters as the men would, would finally get on the board. Less than seven minutes to go in the second, four to one. Critters, just to answer the question, Jackson Novak, I see you in the chat. This deflected pass by Bates goes to Stephen Graney. Graney coming over the line. Cyan net there for DeRosa. DeRosa in front, nearly pinball towards the goal crease as now it's Lorch who will backhand one off the wrong net in front as it's possessed there by DeRosa. Graney at center, nice move around Rosa. Graney towards the Ro DeRosa as he couldn't stash it in. As Paul Paracone kicks the net, it was slightly dislodged, put back into place as play continues on. Paracone holding back on on the right side. Graney on the point again. DeRosa waits, holds, fires, that goes wide. Colby Rosen might have been a screen on DeRosa. Meanwhile, this is Lorch, hits it right behind the net. Six minutes to go, still four to one critters. Bates, DeRosa waits, shoots, that's blocked there by Slotwinski as his puck comes free there towards the recent goal scorer, Liam O'Neill. As first goal of the regular season on D2 against the Remipode Roadrunners. It was a nice deflection goal from the shot of Bailey Swapwinski. This puck is now flipped back towards the corner. Hello, Justin Strom. I see you in the chat. Welcome for joining the game. As his long pass goes off of Colton Bates. Bates, that shot deflected off the ceiling there. Repsic brings it down. Backhand shot saved by Swapwinski as his puck comes back towards the point. Rosen, backhand pass towards O'Neill. He'll shoot it wide. Now it is Bates, moving on the left wing, centering it across for Grady, trying to bust through the defense. Grady backhand shot off the twig there of Swatwinski, I believe, as that will go back towards Grady again. DeRosa, Grady controls back, backhand pass. DeRosa scores! As I've said plenty of times during the regular season, this Rose is more deadly than it may appear as he gets his first of the game. DeRosa scored twice in the semifinal game tonight, so that's his third goal of the night. Five one critters. <laughs> Liam O'Neill. Slap pass across there for Lorch. You can't do slap passes here, but you can't do slap shots in the intramural league here at Kutztown. Pareka behind his own net, trying to escape the stick of Andrew Lorch. Intercepted by O'Neill. He scores. He's got another one, O'Neill. He was past the center ice line, so it will count. A much needed goal there for the men with wood as they are now trailing by three. It's five to two. Frankie Easy arguing that O'Neill is not playing well. I think his two goals say otherwise. As now Antonio O'Neill can't escape the stick there of Rebsik. 
Rapperson taking it back in front. Antonio O'Neill will try to escape away here for the men with Wood. Now it's DeRosa, who the recent goal scorer in front for Bates. He scores! Quick response for the critters, Colton Bates, 6-2. O'Neill trying to get the hat trick here, missed it wide. Pareka or De Rosa waiting for the puck all the way down. He might be trying to kill some clock here as well. Gets this feed there from Repsic. Backhands one towards De Rosa as he's been wanting to get the puck in the last minute or so. De Rosa trying to get around here on the red line. This goes off the stick of Rosen. And Antonio Onella, the former Igloo Jaguar to Bailey Swatwinski. Gloved there legally there by Onella, who scored last game in the semifinal for the men with Wood. Rosen on the corner. Back towards Anel, shooting one that goes behind the net. DeRosa trying to walk this away from Rosen as DeRose will get it out here for, there for Repsic as he lost control of the puck. He had a wide open net, but he lost possession, gets it right back towards, towards the net, he scores! He lost control of the puck earlier. He got it right back, eventually got it into the back of the net. And it's 7-2. That's his second of the night. Nice joke there, Novak. Very funny. I see that. So a little less than two mates to go in the second. Seven to two critters as they are attempting to defend their title. Paracone. They'll give it for Pareka. Off the boards to DeRosa. Repsic going for the hat trick. And that goes wide off of Swawinski, actually. Paracom will have to retrieve it down. Swerves it off the boards. Pareka. And now it's taken away there by DeRosa, trying to get around Lourdes towards Repsic. And that shot's blocked there, saved there by Slotwinski. This is stuck in the side part, I mean the back part of the net. Comes free. Repsic trying to get it away from Lourdes. Lourdes off the boards. DeRosa got to it first. And now it takes possession, getting away from DeRose. The two, the two defensemen battling for it here. Rosen, backhand pass towards DeRosa. Anella shot off of DeRosa as I fear it may have hit him in a spot that was kind of sensitive. As now Lorch is in front of the goal here. Back part of the net, I should say. Swawinski with a ripping shot goes wide. Rebound there for Rosen was blocked. As now here come the critters. Pareka, that shot's blocked there by Swawinski. Repsick will now maneuver here for the critters. 26 seconds to go in the second period. Again, no Josh Bauer for the men with Wood tonight, so they are slightly shorthanded. As Slotwinski scores that goal here, and I believe that was good. Wasn't sure if it was at first. If he was past the, if he was behind the red line, he appeared to be fine, so that does count. Slotwinski scores as the second period comes to an end. It is seven to three critters after two. We'll be back for the third. Third period's about to get underway. Seven to three critters. The critters 10 minutes away to potentially getting their second consecutive championship title in the Kutztown Floor Hockey Intramural League. Brainy takes it here for the critters. There's a photo right down the hallway here at the rec center. That shows the championship photo after the Critters won last year. And if they win this one, they'll probably get a photo right next to that one. As Repsic is going to take it here on the wing, trying to get the hat trick for the second straight game. Repsic towards Bates. Has it behind the goal. Moves to the corner. Set one in front as Graney retrieves it back towards the red line. Steven Graney is going to now try to bust through center here. Tony O'Neill out on the head. Here's Lorch, wide open cage. He scores! Andrew Lorch, a breakaway empty net goal. As now the men with wood trail by three. 7-4. So that's the 11th goal of this game total if you count all the goals from the men with wood and the quitters. Bates trying to get goal number 12 of this game as that was blocked by Swawinski. Bailey Swawinski. Well, now trying to move, move it through center. O'Neill trying to take this puck too. O'Neill has it back towards the corner, trying to center it. His backhand pass comes back towards the wing. Antonio O'Neill 
Swawinski wanting the puck here. Nearly got it to him. It goes towards O'Neill. Swawinski has to retrieve for this puck back in front of his goal. Apologies for the internet connections coming out of nowhere. I don't know why it's happening. I think we're good now. Paracone has it back on the corner here for the Critters. I was just about to say Golden Bears, but this is not an official hockey game. As that's blocked off the shin there of Swatwinski. Again, if any of the seniors for Kutztown Hockey are watching this live or later, I wish you guys a bright future in your lives, whether it's hockey or not. And as the broadcaster of Kutztown right now, I will say I'll miss you guys for games next year. Rebsik has it back on the corner here for the Critters. Seven and a half to go. He scores! Second straight game, Repsik gets the hat trick. 8 4 critters. Seven minutes and counting left. They do not stop the clock on whistles. They did seem to do that at the end of the last semifinal game when it was close. Here's O'Neill, and that goes off the side of the net. This is cut right through, as now it's Repsik. Repsic on the corner. Behind the net there is Graney. On the back part of the soccer cage there. Now we walled down. Puck comes in free there for O'Neill. The net was slightly dislodged as they're going to keep playing on. Antonio O'Neill, that shot's blocked there off the stick there of Pareka. Backhander there for DeRosa. DeRose off the, nearly off the stick of Graney. And now it's Swapwinski. Colby Rosen, shots blocked there by Repsic. Now it's DeRosa, trying to give it on ahead. Swatwinski goes it down, O'Neill scores! Yep, 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 yep. And now O'Neill's got the hat trick. Not too long at the Repsic got his. Eight, five critters. Six minutes to go. O'Neill trying to kick this free. Graney's going to take his time here. Gives it to DeRosa on the corner. Moving towards the wing now. DeRosa, that shot's blocked and goes off the scoreboard, actually, as play continues on. Repsic trying to escape Anella. Set one in front. That centering pass for DeRosa would not go. Porks will hit it off the boards for Graney. Gives it back to Pareka, coming in over the line. Gets it right back. Pareka, that shot's blocked on the stick there. Off Swawinski, not a chance, scores! D-Rose, 9-5, Critters. So now we're in the final five minutes to go in the game. For those watching on wondering what's next for Nick's hockey broadcast, I'll do some spring league games at the, at the Steel Ice Center, assuming that league will be back in May and June, like I've done the last two years. So once I hear more information about that, I'll do some games there, so stay tuned for that. As DeRosa gets another one there, the 10th goal of the game, and that's the game, the mercy ruling, since, since the Critters are up by five. And with that said, the Kutztown Critters are the 2024 Intermure Floor Hockey League champions. Back-to-back -back champs for the Critters. Undefeated two consecutive seasons, 16-0. Michael DeRosa, Colton Bates, Owen Pareka, Paul Paracone, Luke Repsik, and Stephen Graney are all champions once again. The men with wood played hard as they have fallen just short. I'm Nick Scott Thank you for joining us for this another edition of Nick's Hockey Broadcast. The Critters win second straight year in a row.